What's up guys? I'm back with another video. Today's video, my sister's behind the camera. Hi. <laughs> Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a challenge video for you guys. It's gonna be a book related challenge, which is why I have this pushed back a little bit so you can see my shelves and because I'm gonna be running around doing a thing. So basically this is a challenge that I recently saw on booktube. If you don't know what booktube is, it's basically just the side of YouTube that bookish people are on. This challenge is actually kind of old, but at the time that this challenge existed, I didn't know about booktube and I don't know if I even had an account. Maybe I did. No, I had an account, but I didn't know about booktube. So I didn't get to do it. So I'm going to do it now when it's not cool and nobody's even doing it, but I think that it's fun. And I actually love watching people do challenge videos on, on their videos, on their... <laughs> on their YouTube channels. So yeah, that's what we're doing. This is called the Do I Have That Book Challenge. Did I say that already? No. Okay, <laughs> Do I Have That Book Challenge. Basically, you scavenge your bookshelves. <gasps> These are not put away, oh no. So yeah, I'm gonna be basically scavenger hunting around my bookshelves to find a book that matches these 20 questions in the tag and then I'm gonna um, do the part two to that challenge. I'm gonna do it within the same video because I don't have as many books as most books, booktubers. So I have a feeling that neither of these challenges is gonna take me as long as the other booktubers. So, okay, so I had a little mishap with my buttons. Apparently I can't button, button up shirts correctly. I'm uh -huh. so tired, I've had a long day. <laughs> anyway, I don't think this challenge is gonna take me as long as other YouTubers because I have less, like a lot less books than they typically do. So that's why I'm putting both of the challenges into one video. Hopefully this video is not 80 million years long, we'll see. But I'm also going to, for an added challenge, I'm gonna time myself. It's not really a challenge because I'm not like giving myself a limit. I'm just trying to see how fast I can do it, if that makes sense. So. Without further ado, the first challenge. I have the prompts in front of me. Aria, my stagehand helper behind the Hi. camera, is going to um, hit the stopwatch, and then I'm gonna hunt. Happy hunting. Ready? Wait, you have to tell them the prompt, right? I will. Oh, okay. Three, can I see it? Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, so the first one is a book with deckled edges. I literally only have one book that has deckled edges, and I know exactly which one it is. She's back there somewhere. Where's the book? I know I have it. I found it. Three or more people. Does this count? One, two. Does this count? Let me just go with the one that I know is going to count. No. Panic. Dun, dun, Panic dun. with this go. Three people. Three people. Okay, next. She has bookshelves like Carts and bookshelves everywhere. Uh, a book with a title ten letters long. Um. Uh. This is gonna take a while. Shoot. Um. Found one. Well, she I found got one. it. Okay. Um. A book. A book title that starts and ends with the same letter. Torment. I was just looking at this one. Got it. Um. A mass market paperback. I have actually a ton of these from the thrift store. I'll just take anyone. This one. Okay. Um. Shoot. Where am I? Cassie Clare. Okay. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Your books are like. Um. Jeez, they're falling. A book with two maps in it. I don't even know if I have a book with one map in it. Maybe in the back. Maybe this one does. Is there really not one with a second map? Oh wait, is it two separate maps or is it the same one? It's the same one, but can I count it? Um. This might be a stretch, but I'm gonna count it. A book written by someone originally famous for something else. Got it. This is the only one I have that's like that. A poetry book. Got it. A book with an award stamp. Ouch. Right? Yeah. Book written by an author with the same initials as you. I don't think I have that at all, but I'll look for it. It's G G B M M. What's? Oh, I do! I do have one! Oh my god! It's probably my only one. Book of short stories. Does this count? Does Whoa! This count? Why does this camera keep falling? Oh, and it also does have deckled edges, so I could have used this one, but it, I think it counts. Okay. Um, a book between 500 and 510 pages long. I think one of these, not this one. 
I don't want to rip it because I'm being crazy right now. Oh my god! You're, you're holding the camera crooked. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I hope it wasn't like that the whole video. Sorry if I'm giving you guys vertigo. Um, vertigo? Is that what that is? Yeah. There was more than 5'10. Dude, what? This is ridiculous. There's no way. 504, 504, I've got it. Book turned into a movie. I have so many. Graphic novel. It's in my closet. I don't keep them on my shelf. Oh. I can't grab it. Time. Done. Done, 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 done. Seven minutes and 23 seconds. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Okay, so for the first one, a book with deckled edges. I chose The Reptile Room from A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. Um, I, this is the only one of the series that I have because um, I got it from the thrift store and I couldn't find the rest of the series. So this is the only one I have. A book with three or more people in the cover. I could have chosen quite a few of Rick Riordan's books, um, but I ended up going with the fourth book in Trials of Apollo series. This is The Tyrant's Tomb. And I don't know who this person is because I'm not there yet. Then we have Apollo, and then there's somebody back there. I think that's Meg. Um, so yeah, three people on the cover of that one. It's hard to see her, but I promise she's there. I didn't cheat. A book based on another fictional story, and this is Roseblood by A.G. Howard. This is a retelling of The Phantom of the Opera. A book with a title 10 letters long. I chose Paper Towns. Five letters in paper and then five in towns. Um, a book title that starts and ends with the same letter, I chose Torment by Lauren Kate. It starts with a T, ends with a T. Mass market paperback. I have a ton of these. I could have used a bunch of thrifted ones I got. I chose 12 Strong by Doug S There you go. Okay. So, um, an author using a pen name. So I chose City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. And let's see. A book with a character's name in the title. This was not recorded of me finding this book, but this is Zack and Mia by AJ Betts. A book with two maps in it, I chose Lore by Alexandra Bracken. I don't know if this one actually counts because there is two maps, but they're the same here at the front of the book. And then in the back of the book, it's the same map, but it's just in the back. If you guys want to not have that count or you do think it counts, let me know in the comments. I'm fine with getting a point taken off if it doesn't count. It was kind of a stretch. A book turned into a TV show. So I could have also picked Zack and Mia for this one. Um, I could have picked Defending Jacob. I could have picked, what else? Oh, um, The Mortal Instruments. There's a few I could have picked, but I went with 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. A book written by someone originally famous for something else. So I only have one book that fits this prompt and that is Life in Motion, An Unlikely Ballerina by Misty Copeland. A book with a clock on the cover. So this was actually kind of tricky to find. I couldn't even think in my head of a book that I own that has a clock on the cover. Um, but I found this one and it just barely counts because it's really hard to see it, but it is there. So I chose Scent by Mar Margaret Patterson Haddix. And the clock is on the building right there. So it's there, but it's really small. A poetry book. I chose the most basic one that pretty much every bookish person has, which is Milk and Honey by Ruby Kaur. Do you have something to say? No, I was just looking. You made a weird face. <laughs> a book with an award stamp on it. I chose The Hate You Give by Auntie Thomas. This actually has two awards on it. The Nonviolent Social Change Honor Coretta Scott King Award which is this one on the left. And then the one on the right is the, I can't read it. Oh, Michael L. Prince Award for Excellence in Young Adult Literature. A book written, this, okay, this one I'm so freaking excited about because I legit, this is the only, I promise you, this is the only book I have to fit this next prompt. Watching people do this video, I was sitting back like, do I own a book like this? But just recently, like literally, a couple days ago I went to the store and bought some more books and because I went to the store I bought a book that fits this prompt. It's crazy. An author who has the same initials as you, Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. My my initials are TM, Tierra McGill. I have yet to find, I have a lot of 
authors that have the last name M, none of them have a first name that start with T, except for Tahara Mafi. I'm literally so happy about that. A book of short stories. I chose Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Demigod Files. This is also um, deckled on the side, so I could have chosen it for that, but I'm glad I didn't because I don't know if I have another one of short stories because I think maybe The Demigod Diaries is short stories too. Book between 500 and 510 pages. This one was pissing me off because I found ones that were just under 500 and ones that were like 512 and I was like, but ultimately I went with Defending Jacob by William Landay. A book that was turned into a movie. I have plenty, but the one that I chose is the, probably the most iconic one that a lot of people chose. I chose The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Not even gonna explain it, you got that one. Graphic novel. I don't know if this counts because for some reason the definition of graphic novel confuses me, but I don't own any graphic novels that are like the graphic novel editions of books already made. Like there's a graphic novel of Percy Jackson. I don't own it. I just own the actual book, but I have comic books. Do those count? Because they're kind of like mangas and graphic novels. Honestly, if it doesn't count, don't give me the point. Don't sugarcoat it, just don't give me the point. It's up to you guys. But I have three different Marvel comic books that I pulled for that one. So and last but not least, a book written by two or more authors. I chose Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott, Mickey Daughtry, and Tobias... I don't know how to say this person's last name, but there's three authors on this one, so this is the one I chose for that one. Okay, so that does it for the first half of this challenge. I'm thinking on it, and I think the video might be kind of long, we'll see, but I'm still gonna film this next part of the challenge right away, so yeah, let's get to it. I think that I actually did really good so far on this challenge, but the second one, I looked at some of the questions, and y'all, I don't think I'm gonna have any of the books. What do you think, Arya? Do you think I'll, I should be allowed to reuse any of these books if they fit the next challenge, or should I say no? What's the verdict? Okay, I think, just looking at these and I looked at the questions, since these look really hard, I think you should be able to use them. Okay, okay. so she thinks I'm, I should be allowed to reuse the stack of books right here. So, here we go. Here we go. Ready when you are to start the timer. You can speak Five, up if I can't hear you. Four, three, two, one, go! I'm falling apart. Anyway.